This isn't really something that's been brought to mind by anything in particular lately. It just struck me recently and I thought it was worth uh, mentioning here. Somebody once said something that, and I wish I could remember who said it, uh, but I, I thought it was a really profound statement to me. I think maybe it was Dennis Miller uh, who said this. I'm just, just flashed in my head. It was Dennis Miller, um, of all people. He talked about how humor is something that comes from the gut. It's something that you, uh, if you laugh at something, if you find something funny, laughter is an involuntary response. Uh, it's something that cannot be cultivated or contrived. You can't cultivate a person's sense of humor. You can't say to a person, okay, well, your sense of humor is not where it should be. You need to be laughing at these other things over here that are what truly refined people find funny. Um, that doesn't, uh, it doesn't work, um, because laughter comes again, comes naturally. It comes involuntarily. It's very much the same way that, uh, you know, you can't help what you feel, uh, attracted to. If you like brunettes, if you like long legs, uh, you know, uh, you know, if you like, uh, stewardess, uh, uh, costumes, um, these kinds, of <laughs> uh, I'm going to get a little bit gross here in a minute. I won't, I won't go any further, uh, down that lane, but you know, we've all got our things that, that, uh, that turn us on, uh, and we didn't choose those things. Uh, it was just for some reason, it, thing, it developed that way for us. Um, and, you know, you, you, can, you can always choose your behavior. Don't get me wrong. No matter what you're inclined to find appealing in that way, you can always choose to live your life uh, chastely. So... Um, you know, behavior is a choice, but inclination is not a choice. And the same can be said for humor, right? You find things funny all the time that you, you don't think you should find funny. You find things funny that maybe you think are juvenile, or, or maybe you think it's beneath you to laugh at something like this. Or in some cases, it's like you feel ashamed that you find that find it funny because it's mean or cruel or, or nasty, uh, you know, it's at somebody's expense, uh, or, or you know, whatever. You, you think to yourself, man, I'm going to go to hell for laughing about this. Um, you know, you're laughing about some terrible event that took place where, where uh, a whole bunch of people were killed or, or terribly harmed, but something, some circumstance in it, uh, you know, tickles your funny bone. Um, gallows humor, you know, that kind of thing. Um, humor can't be controlled. That's the thing. Laughter cannot be controlled or contained. And there is something so farcical about this effort to, you know, uh, cultivate this, to wag one's finger at those who laugh at all the wrong things. You're laughing wrongly. You shouldn't laugh at that joke. That joke is offensive, you know, but it's funny. It's funny. You, you, and, uh, if, if you, if you find it funny, you find it funny. There's no right or wrong, uh, to humor. Again, you can control your behavior, right? If you, uh, whether or not you find something funny, you know, you know, right from wrong, uh, and you can behave accordingly. You're not going to be led around by what you, uh, <laughs> you're not going to do the wrong thing, hopefully just because you think it's funny, uh, just because you, you, you know, you'll laugh at the result of doing the wrong thing. You'll still hopefully want to do the right thing, but nevertheless, 
humor is a wild, uncontrolled thing. And those who, uh, uh, those who, who, um, are humorists, they will always be, if there are any good, they will always be, um, you know, unsafe. There will always be something unsafe and um, perhaps unsavory about them because where they're going, what they're, where they're, where they're uh, dwelling, where their minds are dwelling, is this place uh, that, again, is wild and untamed and cannot be uh, cannot be boxed in, uh, cannot be civilized cannot be um, brought under control. No no amount of ninnies wagging their fingers at you is going to make you not find an offensive joke funny. It's still going to be funny to you. Uh, you know, they, they, they try to tell you not to laugh. Uh, well, I mean, they can, they can tell you not to laugh as much as they, as they want. They can tell you what a terrible person you are for laughing that's not going to stop the impulse to laugh. Uh, so I just, I think that it would be a good thing if we admitted to this to ourselves that, that, uh, uh, you know, the source of humor is mysterious. Exactly why, uh, you know, in some cases you can explain a joke or you can understand if it's not a joke, you can understand what's humorous about a particular given situation. Um, but, um, you know, this all comes to mind. I, I just recently subscribed to Sam Hyde, uh, to his, uh, his worthy, uh, project. And, uh, so now I have access to all of his material and I've, I've, you know, enjoyed his work for a long time. Uh, but there you go. There's a perfect example of someone who they said, you know, oh, this is bad humor. This, we cannot have this on Adult Swim. That's bad, 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 bad. Um, and, and they even, they even got it canceled. Literally, they canceled it. Um, but that doesn't stop the humor from being humorous. And, uh, Sam's still plugging away and... You know, I, I think he's a legend. I, I think he's fantastic. Uh, and there's something fearless about him. And I think, uh, I think a, a humor, any good humorist, just like any good artist is fearless, uh, or is aware of his fears, but still does what must be done to accomplish, uh, what must be accomplished in his art. And, uh, uh Sam Hyde is one such person. Not to not to suck up to him or anything, <laughs> um, uh, but because you know I'm laughing because he, he obviously doesn't know who the hell I am, and it wouldn't matter. I could suck up to him as much as I could just make a total embarrassment of myself uh, talk, talking about how great I think he is, how wonderful he is, uh, how much I adore him, um, and it wouldn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> because no, <laughs> he doesn't know me from Adam. Uh, so there's, there you go. There's a, some, there's a, a bit of humor, uh, a bit of my sense of humor to round out this, uh, enthralling almost 10 minutes of content that you just watched. Thanks for watching. My name's Andy Wiki. Please check out my work at altrightnovelist.com.